Okay, this is the same example I was doing during lesson. First I was opening file that is here in Drive X, teaching material folder, Almalayak folder and AutoCAD. And um, from there I was opening OKTALO OK, and this drawing. It is as read only, but it doesn't matter. I open it anyway. And this file is um, containing a lot of different drawings and they are not supposed to be printed on one paper sheet at all. Uh, instead we need uh, many paper sheets. And um, I was using this layout to create those paper sheets. And um, if I click this layout one there is some sort of layout which I could start modifying. And now if I go to output and I take page setup manager, that is the way to um, look settings and modify. Here I can also change all kind of settings like what is my printer. And if I want to use um, Toshiba printer I can select this one. What is the paper size? I want to use A3 paper size and I want to plot layout and scale should be 1 to 1. Always use 1 to 1 here if you are uh, plotting from layout. And always use layout as plot area also. And um, if you have colors and you still want to do monogram output, choose monogram here. This changes all the colors to black and um, that's usually a good thing to do. And uh, landscape paper orientation is uh, good. And now all the settings are done, so OK. And close. Actually, this is the um, little rectangle here is the viewport I used to have there. But I changed paper size so much that maybe I just select it and press delete. I cancel it. Now I just have empty paper without any any um, viewport objects. So viewports. Um, here in layout tab we can create uh, viewports and usually we want to have rectangular viewports. They can be created here. The idea of viewport is to bring a kind of view to this layout from, from the model extents. All the stuff I have on the model tab. And uh, now I pick corners of this viewport. So I was able to create a, such a rectangle that it has all the stuff I have here in model here. Everything is now inside this viewport. If I delete this, all this, uh, this also um, becomes invisible. I don't delete those objects though. If I delete this and I go back to model, I can still see those objects, they didn't go anywhere. But this um, viewport is kind of a special object that makes it possible to bring those model space objects into this layout to, and to see, see them in certain scale and certain uh, zooming. Now I can uh, double click inside this viewport and start zooming. And as you can see, paper is not zooming, but the uh, contents inside this viewport is zooming. Just like in uh, model side, or this model tab. Now I could um, zoom something that I want to print um, to the center of the viewport. And as you can see, this decimal number here changes when I zoom. This is actually decimal version of viewport scale. And to get a certain um, specific viewport scale, I click here and I choose, let's say, 1 to 100 scale. And uh, that was actually zooming this page a bit, or this content a bit. Now it is zoomed so that 1 to 100 scale um, is uh, um, there. And uh, if I accidentally zoom a bit, I lose the scale immediately, and that's why I always want to lock this scale when it's set it. So 
I click lock here and now I can't change the scale any longer. If I zoom the whole paper will zoom and scale is kind of not changing at all. Okay so this is something you want to do and then you can double click outside of the viewport and now we are back on the paper space. Paper space um, coordinates are a little bit different and this is showing that we are now on, on the paper space and paper's origin is this point here and those are margins and that white is paper and uh, millimeters on paper can be used to do anything straight to the paper so if I want I can like uh, add some text or whatever maybe I make single line text here I click here and text height is 3 millimeter angle is 0 and now cursor starts to blink there and I can type my name or whatever I want to type if I click elsewhere then I can continue and if I press enter there will be a new line of text but one more enter ends adding text okay so it's possible to make two-dimensional objects straight to this paper also I can select the viewport and I can use those little grips blue grips there to adjust this viewport frame a little bit so that I see only things that I want to see like here I can also use move tool to move the whole thing somewhere on the paper so not only the frame I selected but all the content also moves moves when I move um, viewport with move tool and um, now uh, I think this is quite ready actually there is something to set but now I go to output and I click preview and this looks uh, quite alright but I have this frame around this picture and I don't like it so I need some way to hide this frame this is that viewport object that is visible I need to hide it so I go to home I go to layer properties and I could create a new layer here and layer name will be um, hidden and then I can hide it here or alternatively I can leave it visible but this tells that I'm not going to print it so if I have this kind of symbol uh, on some layer that means this layer is not going to be printed at all so then I select this object and I change its layer here to hidden and let's try preview again output preview and as you can see now the frame is on a layer that is not not to be printed. We have some uh, commercials on the borders of edges of this paper sheet but uh, never mind. Um, okay so now the layout is ready and you can do layouts also for three-dimensional um, 3D models. Actually that is the reason why this is called model space. You can make 3D models here and you can bring different views of that 3D model on, on, on the paper with viewport objects also.